Okay, we figured it's about time we do a little farm tour. Um, right now we are at our swing set garden. We have it up on top of our septic mound actually. Uh, Amy is picking the um, Everglades. Everglades tomatoes. All this is one see. Everglade tomato bush. Yes. Look at the size of this thing. And it is loaded. These tomatoes don't normally even make it into the house. <laughs> Amy picks and eats them when she's out here working. There are really juicy tomato, super sweet and really strong, nice tomato flavor. Yeah. I don't even care for raw tomatoes, but I'll eat these. And look, look at all the blooms. I mean, Let this, alone. This thing just stretches out forever. All the tomatoes that are green. All the tomatoes. Boy, you'd be a rough time making fried green tomatoes with these, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. There's one here that's ready that you can put on the window seal, too, honey. Well, I'm trying to get the ones that are more red than green, but. Yeah, see, I try to save those for the next day. Oh, okay. Yeah. While she's picking that, let's take a quick walk around. These are our yard long beans. And if you see here, we're actually starting to get some beans on here. They're blooming like crazy. This is just a few plants that we planted in that tire right there. All these are, uh, we have planted in tires. Well, you've missed several down here. You'll have more popping up everywhere next year. These, these tomatoes, they drop down, they're self-seeding, yeah. and they'll come back the next year. We're probably going to uh, save a bunch of seeds of these and maybe do a giveaway. <laughs> do a give. That that is if I can keep Amy from eating them all. You said there was more. Well, there's some that drop down over there. Oh yeah, I don't I don't get the drop down ones because. Right. I don't know how old they are. Or... Here are the. This is uh, the long. Uh, what is this? Armenian oh, yeah. cucumbers. Holy crap, this thing's on the ground. It's taken off really big. This is our, and right next to it, we have Seminole pumpkins growing. And it's going out across the top of the, running into our beans, running over here all the way to our beans. This is uh, um, try to remember now. Malabar spinach. Really not doing too much right now. This was a failed attempt of some beans. We really need to uh, pick the uh, weeds out of that one. Haven't really bothered too much with it because nothing really grew and this is longevity spinach all right now we're going around the, the take these inside and put them up real quick. all right right in here i have papayas growing I got to thin that out. And this is pineapple bed. These are all tops from pineapples that I've cut out. 
started doing it last year so hopefully next year we'll get some uh, pineapples from some of these this is our banana this is the ice cream banana we're getting this one here is the first one sorry about the Sun there this was our first ice cream banana um, we got the bloom on it so we'll get some bananas this year the big one next to it is actually the daughter plant of the mother here which is growing uh, pretty fast and then we have two more uh, another daughter growing on the side of the daughter and, an, and uh, a daughter growing off of the side of the mother so we'll have three more once we pick this these bananas and cut down the mother we'll have the new mother and two more daughters growing and one will be far enough away that we'll let it pop up another daughter our stack of tires this one and this little one are also daughters of our ice cream banana we've got it planted over here with our miniature Cavendish or dwarf Cavendish we got several of them lots of pups growing on those we'll be separating them Tons and putting them out in our we'll be putting them out in our wet wetter areas because they they really like the moisture they're heavy drinkers it'll help they'll help drink up a lot of this water that we get um, and we're going to put our ice cream bananas over here back behind the bananas this is uh, cranberry hibiscus. We eat the leaves on these. They're great in salads. Um, you can make teas out of them. I chop them up and put them in soups. Uh, they're good on sandwiches as like a lettuce. Um, this is our um, dragon, fruit. dragon fruit. We're not sure what color. Yeah, we're not sure what color that one is. Then we got Mexican sunflowers. We got the firebush. Fire bush. And if we walk over here, this is the ever-bearing mulberry. We got mint growing in a tire. Um, here we have uh, jasmine. jasmine. Oh, I got some blooms. This is our dinner plate hibiscus. This bloom is closing up. It'll drop off here. Um, but we got two more blooms about to open up. We'll get some pictures of them later. This is more cranberry hibiscus. This here is getting more sun. We'll probably, when we cut those down, we'll, we'll do the cuttings, the ones, the other ones. And we'll probably put them out here where they'll get a little more sun. They get this nice deep red. This is uh, a hibiscus. Tequila rose. Tequila rose hibiscus. We had it right in the ground. Um, it didn't like all the moisture that we were getting. It didn't like having its roots so wet. So we had to dig it up put it in a tire and it's doing a lot better now it's coming back I thought we were going to lose it um, we have some more pineapples I was running out of room in the other bed and this pineapple I had given to me it is the t it is uh, the lady that gave me this one she cut the top off of a really super sweet pineapple she got out of a supermarket and she planted the top on it because she wanted she liked how sweet the pineapple was well every pineapple after that 
this is a this is a regular yellow pineapple but every pineapple after that had a soft core it was a yellow pineapple with a soft edible core that you don't have to cut out you can eat it and she gave me one of the pineapples uh plants from the original and she's gotten uh and all the pineapples that has came from this original all have the edible cores so i'm really excited about this this is another one of our japanese red maple this is a japanese red maple it didn't like wet feet either yes. we had to dig it up put it in a tire and it it's struggling it's struggling we're hoping it sprouted some more new leaves so we're really hoping that uh or if anybody can give us any advice we would be happy you know to take advice yeah. um we got some more dwarf um cavendish pineapples here now, all of our dwarf cavendish pineapples or not pineapples but bananas came from two banana plants that we got from Walmart from Walmart what was that like uh, last year last year last summer. last summer and these are all pups from the um, those two original and now down here I'm also excited I have the white pineapples this is a white jade pineapple that also has a soft edible core this is one of my favorite plants. I love herbs. Um, and this is a curry leaf. Uh, it's used in curries and other cookings. This is not what they make curry powder out of, but it is one of the ingredients that they usually use in curry. Uh, that's how it gets its name, curry leaf. Very delicious, great in soups. Um, it gives it a little bit of kick, but it's not, it's not a it's not too spicy because I don't really like spicy foods. So it, it's just a nice little kick. Here is a sweet potato. Sweet potato. This is the uh, river, river birch. birch. Yep. More sweet potato. This is a southern home grape. It's a muscadine cultivar. This is bay leaf. I'm always cutting leaves off of this. I use a lot of bay leaf. This is a Pam uh, Muscadine grape. It's just getting started. I'm kind of excited about it. It's just now really starting to take off a little bit. It's getting some extra growth on it. This is a peppermint tree, Mexican peppermint tree. Uh, it's supposed to get pretty decent size and it has a nice peppermint flavor. This is, you, if you watched our other video, um, this was me planting this, I planted this in the other video. Uh, this is the other one of our Southern home grapes. Then we have blueberries. These are a variety that's uh, been bred and cultivated for Florida. Those are our red crepe myrtles on each side of the driveway. Right? Two of those, and then you can see our big pink. Pink one. This that came our, with the property. <laughs> this is our giant mound of uh, mulch. Of malt, wood chips. Here we have a hardy kiwi. We got this at uh, tractor, supply. tractor Supply. No, this one wasn't from Tractor Supply. This one was from Lowe's. This is one that we got from an organic nursery. It's also a hardy kiwi. It's not doing quite as good as the uh, one from the, you know, the big box store, but I'm still hopeful for it. We have our Mexican guava. This one we put in the ground uh, before we really started putting things in tires. 
but it actually seems to be doing pretty good. This is one that we put in, in a tire, but if you notice, it's already blooming, and hopefully we'll get some fruit from it this year. And they're about the same age. That one has grown a lot taller. This one is kind of more short and squatty. But uh, I'm really kind of excited about it. I'm hoping to get some fruit. This is the strawberry tree. It really didn't like all this water that we've been getting. And that's even with it being planted in a tire. But the good news is we're getting a lot of blooms and fruit on it. So here you can see the bloom. That's why they call it the strawberry tree because the, the blooms look just like a strawberry. But the fruit, when you take a bite of the fruit, you can see some starting right there. When you take a bite of the fruit, it uh, you get this burst of juice. It's like cotton candy. And it tastes like cotton candy. So I'm going to go through there to show them chickens too. Well, you, we already got a video of that. Really? But. That gate makes a lot of noise. You'll have to cut that out. Yeah, here's. We got. Uh, this is our guinea and chicken nursery pen I built this chicken coop but we ended up using it mainly for when we hatch our chickens we uh, we, we uh, keep them inside until they get a little you know get decent size and we stick them out here you can see our little pen there and then uh, once they get big enough we start introducing introducing them to the rest of the flock this is the chicken playpen that Amy insisted that I buy and put together because she was afraid our chickens and ducks were bored. Our ducks, our duck ponds. Um, the one with the little afro, we call him afro. Right there is anarchy. This is our duck house, although they both use it, the chickens and the, the ducks. Oh, let me show you our compost pile. It really needs to be turned. I'll make a video of it uh, one day here soon. But... Uh, we put all of our table scraps, you can see paper plates, um, you know, just brush and everything that we cut down. Small brush goes in here and uh, the chickens, you know, pick at it. Uh, manu you know, their manure goes into it. We also get uh, horse manure from a neighbor and put in there. baby yeah put it in just roll it roll the leaf up and smash it or you can do that this is our peach tree we cut all the peaches off of it this year except for two and we let ripen on the tree very delicious super juicy our mango We got three mangoes, planted in tires, a sour sop. We had a mango in this tire that I had first planted way before um, we started putting things in tires. And it did not like all the water and we tried to save it and put it in here. And as you can see, it died off and all there is left is 
a little stump left. We have some figs. A couple different varieties. This one is the brown turkey fig. Just doing pretty good. We've already gotten a few figs off of it. Um, it's having a little trouble with all the moisture. This one here is ready to go too. Go put it in the... This one... I put some wood ch chips around it, but as you can see, something started eating it. So I'm not sure if this one is going to survive or not. I'm really hoping it's able to pull through, but I'm afraid it, it may just be too damaged. This one is the Chicago Hardy Fig. When I got it, I mean, it was literally just a little stick with one leaf on top of it. And that was, what, maybe a month, two, well, about two months ago. This is our Loquat. I had somebody give this one to me. Um, it started from a cutting off of a Loquat that the guy brought over from uh, Italy and it's supposed to have really large fruit so I'm really excited about that this year so I'm next year I'm hoping to have fruit on it we'll see alright this one here is our moringa Mark. tree that actually survived the freeze this was my first one and it had only gotten about this high over in the other area and it died off with the freeze. Well, we dug up the root and we realized there was actually more growing and so we replanted it here after we babied it for a while and it's doing great. So it's get grown really tall. Uh, this is another one of our Cavendish. And then this one is... A moringa tree, believe it or not, when we bought it, just, uh, what was it, April? Yeah. It was only this tall. And as you can see, compared to me, it is actually above the roof line now, which is wonderful. That's our mulberry. I had somebody give that to me, too. Then we have ginger. I thought it was turmeric. Oh, you're right. That is that is turmeric. Yeah. Our ginger is up there. We haven't planted it yet. And then this is our red sorrel um, or Jamaica sorrel. Once the flowers bloom, they'll have these red pods. And what we'll do then is use the red pods to make um, the uh, red sorrel tea, which is also a healthy benefit too. So I can't wait for that. Um, back of the bag we got more Cavendish and then this one here is called the big leaf moringa this one was also about maybe the height of this pole here and as you can tell it's almost, almost to the roof almost to the roof line in just a few months so this stuff grows great um, once the once we get notified of the first freeze coming we will then trim this all back down to the almost to the ground pile a bunch of mulch on it we'll harvest the leaves I'll dry them and then uh, we'll just baby it through the winter time so then that way when it comes next spring it'll grow even more our lemongrass yep that's the lemongrass um, this is the pineapple sage which has overtaken everything back behind here uh, this is the regular sage. We're going to transplant that. And then this is our thyme. This is our bay leaf. And then, let's see, down here we have, this is going to be oregano. This is a weed, because oregano was the only, so we got to take care of that. This is holy basil. This is peppermint and rosemary. And then this is called the 
um, buzz button, buzz button, or the or toothache plant. plant, and that helps. Um, Donald got tricked into putting a whole one in his mouth, and it actually numbs your mouth. So if people will use half of it or a few of them, put it um, up against their gum or the tooth that hurts, and it's actually it will actually numb that area of your mouth. It will make you slobber too. <laughs> it's like a natural aura gel. Yeah. Here we have, this right here is the Flying Dragon. It is a citrus. Um, it's a, a uh, dwarf citrus. I'm gonna use it for cuttings. I'm gonna, I'm gonna graft to it to try to make some uh, dwarf citrus trees. It, uh, is resistant to uh, the diseases and stuff that we have around here. here. This is our miracle fruit. That there. Then we have the truly tiny banana tree. And if you look back here, we have two dragon fruit. This is our spearmint that I'm growing. Then we have, move that up out of the way. If you see there, that is the ginger. Yeah, that's it. And this is a pineapple. I've really got to cut the head off of that so that I can plant This is an it. oriental. Uh, ornamental. Or, or ornamental, yeah. We have a couple peach trees. Um, um, passion fruit. And that was my strawberry tree, it died. Jacoba Cava. Uh, we got some garlic, bunch of uh, mango, or not mango, but papaya seedlings. Yep. More papayas. Um, we got pink and white dragon fruit. Pink and white dragon you know fruit. Not that much. Lime tree. Two blueberries. Our lemon tree. And the lemons are starting to turn color, so we're getting ready for that. And then behind us, we have our citronella. Citronella plant. Ooh, it's hot out here. All right, that's our quick tour. Well, maybe not so quick tour no. of our uh, little food force, <laughs> really. That's my beautiful Amy right there. So, um, well, if you like this video and some of our other videos, please like, like us, give us a like. Share, Share it us. and subscribe. Please subscribe. We need and more subscribers. Feel free to comment. We're we're open to any ideas or if you want to ask us some questions, we'll do our best to answer and uh, get you guys going. All right. Have a great day. Bye.